to Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hankster's Hot Rods Collector Car Showroom. We are not a consignment dealership. All the cars you see in our showroom and that you see on our website, we own. Uh, we do not do any third party sales. So when you're dealing with us, you're dealing directly with the seller. If you're watching this video on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website. It's hangsters.com. We're gonna put anywhere from 80 to 100 photographs up of this car today, still photos, high resolution still photos, as well as this video we're doing for you right now. We leave all of our videos on YouTube. So if you wanna know if this car's still available or not, visit our website. If it's on our website, it's available, but you still might wanna call or send an email because if we have a pending deal on the car, it'll still show up on our website as well. We don't bring the cars down until they're funded in full. <clears throat> so, vehicles that are coming up in popularity right now are these mid 70s, late 70s, early 80s, Firebirds, Trans Ams, and Camaros. So today we have for you a 1979 Pontiac Trans Am. <clears throat> this one is definitely a driver quality car. It is mostly original. This is what we call in the industry a survivor car. <clears throat> Taking a look at the bird on the hood, you can tell that it's original and it, you know, it's peeling in some spots and it's, it's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but it's in very good shape. Overall paint quality of the car is in nice condition too. Again, it's a driver quality paint. Um, I would venture to say this all this paint on this car is original. It might have been touched up in spots, but I, I would say this is the original paint on the car. I do not know for 100% certainty. Uh, but again, very nice paint job. Uh, dual mirrors matching the color of the car. They're white. Uh, glass on the car all the way around is in very good condition. Uh, there is a little bit of a wear mark here on the driver's side. Uh, glass uh, in the door, but overall very good condition. Have your bird here on the passenger side, I'm sorry, driver's side uh, drop down. It's going to be the same on the passenger side. We're going to take a look at the interior. Uh, the interior on the car is in very good condition. You do have a tear here in the driver's seat um, that we're going to just kind of, you can, there's some upholstery. Uh, like glue that you can use. It's not big enough really to justify replacing the seat or the seat cover. It's just a little tear there from getting in and out. Somebody might have poked it with something. But the, the dash is in very good condition. Steering wheel, center console, carpeting, uh, very, very nice shape in the car. Um, do have some scratches like on the back seat there that you can see. You'll see them in the still photos as well. Uh, you know, some just cosmetic items here on the back of the seat where the paint's chipped off. You can see down here at the bottom of the door, uh, a little bit of discoloration in the carpeting. Uh, all cosmetic items. The car runs fantastic and shifts fantastic. We're going to show you that later on in the test drive. But overall, a really good looking 79 Trans Am. Uh, back glass on the window is in excellent condition. Same thing with the hat rack in the back. This is a Florida car, so the sun didn't get to this one too bad. You do have your exhaust pipes coming out here, uh, chrome, both on the driver's side and the passenger side. that are going to drop down there below the rear tire on either side of the car. Trans Am logo on the rear deck lid is in good condition. We have our uh, secret little gas door there, and we're going to pop the trunk and show you that. Uh, you do have one of those, I don't even know, I guess it's just kind of like a tire, I guess. But there is a spare in there. Uh, trunk's in good shape. There is a trunk mat in there. It's not really a trunk mat, it's just a trunk lining. But taking a look underneath it, it's in good shape. Uh, no rust or no rot holes. Uh, weather stripping around the trunk's in good condition. Both sides of the car are real straight. Driver's side and passenger side. Uh, doesn't look to me like there's been any uh, body work whatsoever done to the car. It's a nice unmolested car. Again, you have your Firebird logo there on the passenger side, mirroring the driver's side. Door panel on this side of the car is a little bit better shape, just because uh, you know the driver's side obviously sees some more action than the passenger side. But all the vinyl on the doors, uh, armrests are in good shape. Passenger seat's in real good shape. Same with the uh, passenger side rear seat. It does have a little scratch on it there by the, where the seat belt comes in and out. Taking a look at the uh, carpeting underneath, that's in good shape as well. It's uh, not dry rotted, uh, not discolored, uh, no holes. Good shape. Pull handle on the dashboard's in good condition. 
Headliner's in excellent shape. Same with the sun visors. The uh, dome light in the car is functioning. Uh, you can see again, if I didn't mention it earlier, I can't remember, but you do have uh, front seat belts and rear seat belts. Automatic car, Kenwood stereo in there. And we'll find out if that works later here in a little bit on the test track. Both doors open and close with ease. You do have a 400 motor in this car, so the car does get up and go, that's for sure. Hood pops outside, real down low, so you'll have to bend down to get the hood open. Uh, power steering, power brakes. Uh, this is the original motor in the car. We'll try to get a picture of that if we can and put it on the website for you guys. Uh, the cowl tag is on the car as well. Uh, Devin will take a picture of that and put it on the website as well, so you guys can kind of read what that's all about. Good looking car so far. Again, this is what we consider in the business as a survivor car. Um, there wasn't any type of restoration work done to this car. You know, I'm sure like brakes were changed, tires were changed, you know, hoses and whatnot. But original paint, original interior, uh, original floor pans, um, you know, all that stuff. This is kind of a car when you want a car that's not been molested, uh, not been wrecked, um, not been really messed with. Um, the bones are there. By what I mean by the bones are the motor's good, the training's good, the body's good. We pointed out a couple cosmetic items that you might, may or may not want to address, but the important thing is, is the car structurally sound and mechanically sound. Um, and we're going to show you a little bit about more about that here um, in the remainder of our presentation. But for right now, let's take it out on the rack and show you what the undercarriage looks like. Okay, we're under a 1979 Pontiac Trans Am 400, white with red interior. And I was able to pull the uh, VIN number off the front of the motor, and it is not the correct motor. Um, it's period correct, but it is not the motor that the car started with. It is not a numbers matching car. Uh, but it is um, by the date code on the block and by the casting number on the block, it is a period correct motor. So, uh, front disc brakes. Again, as we said earlier, power. Looking up at the oil pan, I do not see any leaks at this time. Flywheel cover is missing because this is a Florida car. People have a tendency to take them off down here to keep the tranny cooler. Uh, the tranny pan's in nice shape too, no uh, leaks to speak of there. Frame rails on the car look to be in good condition. Dual uh, Flowmaster mufflers coming down off your exhaust manifolds, uh, tipping out the rear of the car which we showed you earlier. Four pans in the car are in good shape. Automatic car to start life, so there's no uh, holes cut in the uh, tunnel at all. Tail shaft seal on the car is nice and dry. Drum brakes in the rear. Leaf springs are in good shape. Gas tanks in good condition. Uh, drop downs on the rear quarters are in good shape. There's your uh, chrome tips dumping out the rear of the vehicle as we showed you guys earlier when, when it was down on the floor. Uh, a little bend there in the uh, cover for the rear end housing, but not leaking nonetheless. Looks pretty good under here. Again, this car is a survivor car. It's going to be offered at uh, an affordable price point um, to get you started in the, the classic car business or the class collector car business if you, if you choose to. Uh, hobby, I should say, not business. We're in the business. You guys are in the hobbies. Or maybe you're in the business. I don't know. But uh, anyways, um, we're going to drop this car down right now. We're going to take it on a quick test drive. This car runs really, really well. Um, and I'm going to show you that here in just a few minutes. We do offer financing on these vehicles. The collector car lenders we work with will do anywhere from a 5 to a 10 year term depending on the price of the vehicle and depending on your debt to income ratio and credit score. Um, full price on this vehicle means that it's shipped to you uh, anywhere in the lower 48 United States and we do also offer a 12 month 12,000 mile powertrain warranty on the car. Um, it's good at any ASD certified facility in the United States. Uh, you have a hundred dollar deductible and the warranty company picks up the remainder on a covered repair. So let's drop this thing down on the ground, take it on on drive and see how it runs. Inside our 1979 Pontiac Trans Am, this is a rarity in the muscle car world. Creeping into the 70s you get tilt wheel. There are a couple in the 60s I guess that have it, but it's kind of rare. 
Turn signals, driver's side's functioning, passenger side's functioning. Uh, oil is not functioning because you have an external gauge down here. Same thing with temperature, voltage. Those are all functioning down low there. Fuel gauge is working. This car must have been equipped with AC at one time. It is no longer equipped with AC and it does not work. There's no blower motor working, uh, no heat, no AC. Uh, wipers are working. Low, high, park. RPM's functioning. The clock is ticking in this thing. That's kind of funny. Um, horn, this is kind of cool. Listen to this. Okay, so this is a regular horn. <laughs> And then you have your siren down here on a toggle switch. It's kind of funny if you're into novelty stuff. Radio doesn't work either. We have volume and we have power. We just have no speakers. So I don't know if they're not hooked up, what the deal is, but we don't mess with radios. Put my seat belt on here. It does function. I'll, normally we're used to lap belts. This thing has shoulder belts. Get that buckled up. Power windows. Driver's side. Passenger side. So those are functioning as well. As I told you, Devin can shoot in the back seat real quick. There's a couple marks on the red vinyl. You know, if somebody wants to dye that or whatever. There's a couple marks in the front too. But overall, the interior's in good condition. You know, nice for what the car is going to be offered at in terms of a price point. So let's take it on the road and show you how it runs. This is the best part. The car runs great. It's got plenty of pickup. We'll show you that here in a couple minutes. The uh, response in the steering wheel is fantastic. The uh, brakes work excellent. Um, acceleration is great. The speedometer is way off. We're gonna fix that. I've never seen one off that much. It's reading 60 right now. We're probably doing between 35 and 40, I would venture to say. So that's something we'll have to get addressed, but we will address it. But there's absolutely no vibrations or shakes or shimmies or tire noise, vibration, anything in this car. It runs absolutely amazing, it really does great pickup it's got a good look to it the white outside with the red in the uh, Trans Am Firebird Camaro you know they've always had a real real nice look to them and this one's no exception plenty of pickup I have no idea how fast we were going the speedometer was reading 100 but I guarantee you we aren't going that fast. I don't know, probably 55, 60. That's in a 45. But the car picks up, it'll get up and go. It's a you know a great muscle car. Um, the 400's always been a great motor. Just a real nice, inexpensive driver quality collector car, muscle car, classic car, whatever you want to classify it as. But. Um, Know, the car's going to need some dancing around, you know, that maybe if you want to, you can put a new bird on the hood. They run about between three and four hundred bucks. And if you're good with that kind of thing, you can put one on yourself or probably pay a body shop. They'll put it on, put it on for you for about a hundred or two. And if you guys want that done, that's something we can certainly negotiate into the price. Um, you know, we offer cars for everybody. Some people kind of like to tinker with stuff themselves. So we get cars in like this from time to time that need a little bit of cosmetic items you know maybe if you want to mess around with the interior you know buy new door panels or dye the ones that are on there or, you know kind of play around with the car mess around with the radio put your own radio in it put a system in it put bluetooth in it hands-free all that fun stuff we're used to today you know that's up to you but um again structurally sound car you just saw the mechanics of it no problem getting up and going tranny shifts nice and smooth hopefully you guys could hear the shifts uh, in the video I mean the car's not running hot you know we're at 190 here and it's 90 degrees in Florida just 
again, step on the gas pedal, the car moves. So I don't know about this one, whether it'll it'll go quick or whether we'll sit on it a while. You know, it might go in two days, it might go in two years, who knows? But uh, 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach. Pinksters.com is our website. I mentioned earlier in this video that we're gonna post at least 80 photographs, probably closer to 100 on this car on our website today, along with this video we're doing for you right now. Please don't just take my word for it. Come on down to Daytona Beach, look at this car, look at our showroom, look at our business operation, check out our gift shop. Uh, you know, there's plenty to do here in Daytona Beach. I always prefer you buyers to come firsthand, drive the car, look at it outside, look at it on the rack, see what you're actually buying. Um, that way when you get it, there's no surprises. Uh, we do our absolute best to try to represent these cars as honestly and as accurately as we possibly can. Um, certainly if you need more video, more information, more questions you have, uh, don't hesitate to call or email or text message. I do it pretty much from the time I get up to the time I go to bed all day, every day. So uh, We would love to earn your business. So again, hangsters.com is our website. Check us out.